For decades, the weakest link in our entire digital lives has been the password. But what if I told you its days are numbered? Today, we're going to break down its replacement, the passkey. We've all been here, right? Staring at that forgot password button, feeling that little sigh of defeat. It's this endless, frustrating cycle. You create a super complex password, you forget it, you reset it, and you do it all over again. But this is so much more than just an annoyance. It is a massive security crisis. Get this, according to the FIDO Alliance, over 80% of all data breaches are the result of weak, stolen, or just reused passwords. The one thing that's supposed to keep us safe has actually become our single biggest vulnerability. So to really understand why pass keys are such a game changer, we have to talk about the one fundamental flaw with every password you've ever used. And it all comes down to a really simple but dangerous idea, the shared secret. A password only works because both you and the website you're logging into know the exact same secret. So think about it. If a hacker breaks into the website's database, they get the secret. If they trick you with a fake email into typing it on a phony website, well, they get the secret then too. It's this single point of failure that is just constantly being broken. So if that shared secret is the villain of our story, then it's time to meet the hero. And I want to be super clear. Passkeys are not just stronger passwords. They're a completely different and way more secure way to prove that you are you. Okay, so what is it? A passkey is a unique digital key that gets created and stored securely right there on your device, like your phone or your laptop. But here's the most crucial part. The secret half of this key, which is called the private key, is designed to never, ever leave your device. It is never shared with anyone, not even the website. And this analogy just makes it all click. Think of your password like a secret code you have to whisper to a bouncer at a club. If anyone else overhears it, they can just repeat it and walk right in. A passkey, on the other hand, is like a real, physical, unique key that you keep in your pocket. You don't whisper any secrets. You just use your key to open the lock. You prove you have it without ever, ever giving it away. So how does this magic actually work? Well, the best part is that this isn't some proprietary technology owned by one company. It's actually built on open, collaborative industry standards, all designed to make the whole internet safer for every single one of us. The technology at the heart of it all is called WebAuthn, and it was created by this massive collaboration. You had the FIDO Alliance, which is basically an industry group dedicated to getting rid of passwords, working together with the folks who run the World Wide Web. All the big players, Apple, Google, and Microsoft, they all worked on this together which is exactly why passkeys are designed to work seamlessly everywhere. All right, let's walk through it. When you create an account on a website that uses passkeys, a little one-time thing happens. Your device, say your phone, generates a special pair of keys that are mathematically linked. The first one is the public key. You can think of this as the lock. That lock gets sent to the website. The second one is the private key, and that's the only key that can open that lock. And the important part, it gets stored safely on your device and it never goes anywhere. Now, what about logging in? This is where it gets really clever. The website sends your device a unique random challenge, kind of like a tiny puzzle that's different every single time. Your phone then asks for your face ID or your fingerprint to get permission to use the private key. It then uses that key to cryptographically sign the answer to the puzzle and sends it back. The server uses your public key, the lock, to check if the signature is valid. If it all matches up, you're in. And this is the single most important part of this whole thing. During that entire login process, your private key was never sent over the internet. The server never, ever sees it. This is what makes passkeys phishing proof. A fake website can try to trick you all at once, but your passkey is cryptographically tied to the real website's address. It simply won't work on the fake one. Okay, so that's all the theory. But what does this actually feel like to use day to day? Because honestly, the user experience is where it all really comes together. Logging in on your phone is just, it's almost laughably simple. You tap the sign in field, your phone suggests your account, you glance at it for face ID, and that's it, you're logged in. No typing, no remembering passwords, no fuss. But what about logging in on say your work PC using the passkey that's on your phone? Well, the system for this is incredibly clever. Your PC will just show a QR code. You scan it with your phone, and then they both use Bluetooth to confirm that they're physically right next to each other, which is awesome for preventing remote attacks. You just authenticate on your phone with your face, and boom, the PC logs you in. Now, the innovation that makes all of this feel so seamless is syncing. Your pass keys are automatically and securely shared across all of your devices using things like iCloud Keychain or Google Password Manager. 
And yes, it's all done with end-to-end -end encryption. That means not even Apple or Google can access your private keys. So when you zoom out, it becomes really clear that this is more than just a convenient new feature. It's a fundamental shift in how we establish trust and identity on the internet. I mean, when you put it all side by side like this, it's not even a contest, is it? For phishing resistance, for safety if a server gets hacked, and for just pure convenience, passkeys represent a massive leap forward on every single front. So, to sum it all up, what are the key things to take away? Passkeys give you phishing-proof security. They make logins faster, just one tap. You'll have no more forgotten passwords. They sync automatically and securely. And it's all built on an open standard that all the biggest names in tech actually support. Now, we're definitely in a transition period. But make no mistake, this is the beginning of the end for the password as we know it. So really, the question isn't if this change is coming, but how quickly it's going to redefine our entire digital world. Are we finally witnessing the death of the password? For more simple and useful tech insights just like this one, make sure to subscribe to Refreshing Tech.